Hello today, and this is going to be a video on, really I did make a slight mistake when I brought um, RAM for computer, um, DDR3 RAM, so when I looked on eBay, I saw 16 gigabytes of RAM, right here, for 25 quid. I thought to myself, that is a bargain, I'm going to buy it, you know what could possibly go wrong with 25 quid for 16 gigabyte of RAM but what I did not know um, this is server RAM I never knew there was a difference between server RAM on desktop RAM um, until I put it in my PC and it didn't work um, I'm going to demonstrate just, um, just pause it a sec Right, I have just installed the RAM. Obviously, I have also changed the processor in this to uh, it's now running an 8 core processor. Um, so that's been upgraded, but I put them both in at the same time. So when I start it up, I'll switch the power supply on. When you start it up, it beeps. I thought, what's going on here then? Is it either the processor or the RAM? Honestly, thought, I first thought it was the processor for some reason. Um, and that was just beeping away like that. Obviously, that's a sound of a failure. Um, oh, that's getting on my nerves now. So initially, I took the processor back out and see if anything was wrong. Couldn't see nothing was wrong put the processor back in, fired it back up, and it done the same thing. What is going on, I thought, um, until I put the original RAM back in, and that was the problem. So I thought, there must be something wrong with the RAM. And I tried both sticks of RAM, and it done exactly the same thing. What is up with this RAM? So I rechecked where I bought it off eBay, and apparently it's server RAM and it only works with certain motherboards. I thought, what is DDR3 RAM? How can it be possible? Um, so there's the case. So be careful when you're buying RAM. <laughs> um, so this is um, what I brought. Um, let's have a quick look, if I can get it out of the packaging. Um, oh God, it's quite a nice packaged, but now I can't get it out with one hand. And that typical. There we go. So what is this RAM? Um, right, is the camera going to focus? Right, it is um, PC, PC3L um, 10600R. Um, that's what it is. Apparently it's server RAM. Um, my, totally my fault of course obviously I did not know it, I did not know at the time there was two types of RAM I honestly think I thought this would work in my computer and obviously I was wrong um, it looks pretty normal RAM to me um, I thought RAM is RAM at the end of the day I didn't think it mattered as long as it's DDR3 which this motherboard is it would work. So apparently this is just standard RAM. This is only 4 um, gigabytes of RAM. Um, so that's why I wanted to upgrade to 8. Um, and I, was, I thought I was lucked, I lucked out there and getting 16 gigabytes of RAM for 16 quid. Um, 16 gigabytes of RAM for 25 quid. I thought I lucked out. But it's server RAM. And I honestly thought if there was a server RAM, which I didn't know at the time, wouldn't it be more expensive than standard RAM? Uh, not on this occasion. That's probably why people brought it, um, not realising it. Um, and probably obviously had no other choice but to sell it for cheap. Because it's useless unless you've got a server. I might keep hold of this RAM actually, just in case I will decide to build a server anytime in the future. I don't know why I want a server but I just I don't know, I just might build one. <laughs> Depends how much money it's gonna to cost to build one. Um 
but you never know, I might find a motherboard that can accommodate this RAM. Um, you know, for 25 quid, I don't really want to send it back. I, I want to keep hold of it. Because you never know, it might work in something. But then again, this video is about just don't make the same mistake I made. Please read before you buy. Because um, I didn't. I thought RAM was RAM. And that was the end of it. But okay, on this occasion, it's not. you got desktop RAM and you got server RAM. And I made that mistake. So there you go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, till next time, and goodbye.